Hey everyone, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing questions 14 through 22 for the 2022 Grade 4 Mathematics State Exam for New York City. So let's get straight into it. The models below are each shaded to represent a different fraction. What is the sum of the fractions represented by the shaded parts of the models? So let's see what each model represents. For the first model, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts in total. So eight goes in the denominator. And there are one, two, three parts shaded. So three goes in the numerator. For the second model, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts for the denominator. And one, two, three, four, four parts for the numerator. If we add these two fractions, 3 eighths plus 4 eighths, we get 7 eighths because the denominators in both of the addends are the same, so it stays the same in the answer. And you just add the numerators, 3 plus 4 equals 7. So the sum of the fractions is 7 eighths, which is D. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 16, it says the line plot below shows the distances Mark ran on each of five days last week. What is the total number of miles Mark ran last week? So each of the X's represents the number of days where he ran this many miles. So he ran one and one fourth miles on one day. He ran two miles on two days, two and two fourths miles on one day and three miles on one day. So we need to multiply the number at the bottom by the number of x's, and we have to add all of those products. So we have to do 1 and 1 fourth times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 and 2 fourths times 1 plus 3 times 1. 1 1 fourth times 1 is 1 and 1 fourth. 2 times 2 is 4. Wait, let me just line them up. So we have 1 and 1 fourth. 4. 2 and 2 fourths times 1 is 2 and 2 fourths. And 3 times 1 is 3. Now let's add all of the whole numbers. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 7 plus 3 equals 10. So 10 is the whole number. And now let's add all the fractions in these mixed and whole numbers. 1 and 1 fourth, I mean 1 fourth plus 2 fourths equals 3 fourths. So Mark ran a total of 10 and 3 fourths miles last week, which is D. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 17, it says, a number rounded to the nearest 100 is 3,700. Which number could not be the number before it was rounded? So for question 17, you have to round all of these numbers to the nearest 100 and see which one does not round to 3,700. And that'll be your correct answer. So when rounding a number, to the nearest whatever value, you have to look at the number to the right of it. Like let's say 165. If we're trying to round to the nearest 10, you have to look at the number to the right of it and see if the number is four or less, you round down. If the number is five and up, you round up. We have 165 here, and there's a five in the number to the right of the tens place. It's, it's five and up, so you have to round it up to 170. However, if this answer, I mean, if this number was 164, the number 
to the right of the tens place is 4 and down. So you have to round the number down to 160. So let's do like a similar process with these four answer choices. So A, it shows 3,614. Rounding to the nearest hundred, six is in the hundreds place and one is in the tens place. One is less than four, so you have to round it down to 3,600. So A is a possible answer since 3,600 is not equal to 3,700. Fourth B, it shows 3,650. There's six in the hundreds place and a five in the tens place. This is five and up. So you have to round 3,650 up to 3,700. So B is not a possible answer since 3,700 is equal to 3,700. For C, we have a seven in the hundreds place and a two in the ones place. I mean, a two in the tens place. Two is less than four, so you have to round this down to 3,700. So 3,700. So C is not a possible answer. For D, you have a seven in the hundreds place and a four in the tens place. Four is equal to four, so um, you have to round this number down to 3,700. So D is not a possible answer since 3,700 is equal to 3,700, which means A is the correct answer for question 17. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 21, it says, which list shows only fractions less than one half? So we have to look at each list and whichever list has all numbers less than one half, that's our answer. So for A, it shows one third, one fifth, and one eighth. If you try to visualize that, one, one third, one fifth, and one eighth. One half would be like half of the whole shaded. All of these are less than half of it shaded. So A is a possible answer. For B, it shows, let me just draw it three circles again. One, two, three. So it shows two thirds, two fourths, and two fifths. Two-thirds is greater than one-half because, because there's more than half of the whole thing shaded. So B is already a wrong answer. For C, let me just draw the circles again. One, two, three, three circles. One-fourth, five-eighths, and six-twelfths. So we have one-fourth, five-eighths. and six twelfths. Sorry for the bad drawing. So, and six twelfths. Five eighths is greater than one half because they're one, two, three, four. Four would represent one half, but we have an extra piece, so it's greater. So C is not a correct answer. For D, we have one, two, three circles, three fourths, five sixth, I mean five sixth, and seven tenths.
three fourths is already greater than one half because you have this extra piece shaded. So D is not a correct answer, which means that A is the correct answer for question 21. Let's move on to the last problem. For 22, it says, what is the measure of the angle shown below? Here, you, ne you need to use something called a protractor. So this is how a protractor works. A protractor works by aligning the bottom with the line. So you have to find where this line is to see how much it measures. You have this at a little bit greater than 160. You have it at 161 degrees. So D is the correct answer for question 22. And also, if you already wanted to get rid of two answer choices quickly, you could get rid of 19 and 24 degrees, so A and B, because 19 degrees and 24 degrees, these are s smaller than 90 degrees, like very significantly. So you already know that this is wrong because this is an obtuse angle, which means it's greater than 90 degrees. So, and then you could measure and find that's 161 degrees leaving D as the correct answer for 22. Okay, everyone, I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!